Hey guys, can anybody see me? Can they see me, Gordon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm putting on my perfume so I feel good for my life here because I don't go anywhere to wear it. So this is a new one I just got in from uh, Scentbird. It's called, it's from Rag and Bone, and it's called Oddity. Now, uh, let me show y'all. This is what it looks like. Rag and Bone is a kind of a different new type fragrance where it's, it's feminine and masculine, like a man and a woman can wear it. And... I love this one, Oddity, and another one I got was Cypress. Oh, they smell so good. And you can smell it. it, it it's for either gender. Um, I love it on my husband, on, on, on my son, as well as I love it on myself. So this is a new one I just got in the mail. If you don't know what Scentbird is, Scentbird is also a monthly subscription that you get um, either a fragrance, they also have candles. Um, they used to just have fragrance when I started, but then they started, um, adding more things. And like some of the items you have to pay an additional $5 for. Uh, but if you use my link to join, I think you get the first month for $10. I think that's how it works. Or you get a month free. I'd have to look at it again. I, I, I don't publicize it much. I don't know why. I don't because I love it. I don't buy perfume anymore because these, I haven't run out of one yet. Now, my daughter, I give her a lot of them. A lot of them I get, I don't like, and then I just pass them on to her because she likes them. And uh, I've bought some for my son. I've bought some for my husband. You can switch up male and female um, when I get loaded down, uh, but to tell you the truth, Quentin has his own subscription now because he likes them. And so, um, yeah, we love Scentbird. Now, I had another company reach out to me that I'm probably going to try. They're a California-based company, and I like to, you know, keep it in the United States if I can. And I think Scentbird might be a foreign country uh, company, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. But it doesn't matter. I can promote too. But anyways, how's everybody doing today? I've just been filming and filming this weekend. Um, I got my new Carly Bible palette in. Bible palette. Look how pretty it is. Isn't that beautiful? I'll show y'all the palette in a little bit. Let me see who's here today. That's why my eyes and my allergies are acting up so much. What if you could see brighter? Because of the allergies. I think I'm allergic to the sun damage. Sorry. I think I'm allergic to the powder in the eyeshadows. I guess probably the talc or the mica, whatever it is. But what are you going to do about that? Hey, Holly Dewey. Holly Dewey. Didn't Holly Dewey have a... a a wrench? She was. She does. Okay, I gave her one again. Why does it just show blue sometimes and not the wrench on the side? Okay. That's odd. Sometimes it doesn't show the wrench and sometimes it's just blue. Let's see. I'm going back here. Hey, Lisa Metzger. Cindy, boy, why is Cindy not blue? What is up with that? I added her back. I don't know why Cindy. Oh, my Lord. 
Hey, Charlotte Davis. And we got Glam Goat here. Kathy's Chaotic World. Hi, Rhonda Woolman. How's your husband? Hey, Tabitha. Tammy Henry. Sylvia Jackson. I just modded you up, girl. Oh, okay. Everybody, I, I'm a... If you don't know what Nightbot is, I will tell you what Nightbot is. Hey, Jennifer Garcia. Francis, how you doing? Nicole Davis. Stacy Harris, I need to talk to you, darling. The bad guy. Hey, Shirley. Clarissa, how you doing this afternoon? Becca's Beauty's here. Tiger036. Teresa Whitehurst. Hey, what do y'all think about CBD oils? Like um like CBD oil you use for like pain or uh muscle cramps. It's not marijuana. It doesn't have well, it's it's not THC. It doesn't make you like hallucinate or whatever. But uh I had an offer uh a PR offer to sell promote this CBD oil, does it actually work? I was just wondering, I've been thinking about it. I just, I know a lot of people in the chat have chronic illnesses. I have chronic illnesses and I know CBD is good in cosmetics, but this is, they sell gummy CBD gummies. They also have it in, I think an oil like for muscle spasms and maybe is that it Quentin I tell you I can't remember I think there might have been a third way they have it but I was just wondering hi Paige Michelle Angela Knight Yes, that palette is amazing. I have it on my eyes. Hey, Keisha Bellamy. Ooh, Toe House Cookie Pie with Million Dollar Spaghetti and Garlic Bread. Yum. <laughs> we had spaghetti and meatballs last night. Hey, Ashley and Candy Joe. The GNS Zoo's here. Monica D's. Thank you, Nicole. How y'all like my uh, skeleton barrette here? You know how long I've been having the skeleton barrette? It's been through... I think I got it in high school. <laughs> I've been having it so long. It went through my daughter wearing it to school for Halloween. Um, yeah, and I found it the other day. So I said, oh, I'm going to put it in my hair. Hey, Barbara, how you feeling, love? Christina Spears is here. Thank you so much, Nicole Davis. I love you so much, my beautiful friend. You are too sweet, darling. She's talking about the they talking about the CBD oil here. And Stacy said it does help. I have tried it for my fibro, my algin. It didn't help me. That's Holly. Yeah, I, I wondered. 
It's good for pain and anxiety. It does work. Clarissa, I just filmed my video on the Good Molecules uh, products. I brought them all back to my uh, beauty room. But um, my skin has never been this good. Usually I'm always um, fighting dryness in the summer, in the winter, especially in the winter. Um, when it's cold and it gets drier down here. Um, but I really, I really have good skin except for the dryness. And I have, uh, enlarged pores here. I have a little area of, um, I guess you would think, um, like texture right here. And that's mostly from the sun. The damage I do have, I think it's from the sun, but I've been using the good molecules and it's so cheap. It's so cheap. If you're not sure, you should be using good cleansers. And I, if you get subscription boxes, I, the only cleansers that I have used from my subscription box is the uh, one with the yogurt in it. The Dr. Brandt with the yogurt. That one, the green clean I can use to take makeup off. But all those uh, soapy condition, uh, cleansers I can't use on a daily basis because my skin is just too dry. So I use, now this one I use maybe once a week because it's so expensive. Um, the Tatcha oil, it's the Camellia oil, I think it's called, uh, cleansing oil. I use that all over. And then I do a second cleanse with the, it's like an oatmeal, it feels like. It's like a powder. You mix it with some water and you scrub your face. It's like the second cleanse. I'll use that once a week. I use <clears throat> the Dr. Brandt yogurt on a kind of almost every day. And then once a week, I'll use something a little bit stronger, like the Murad with the exfoliant in it. And... Um, other than that, like as far as my serums, I use the Good Molecules uh, ni niacinamide uh, serum and the Super Peptide serum. I use both of those. And those two have so much in them. They have vitamin C. They have um, different extracts, some for uh, hyperpigmentation. Uh, some for um, redness, which I suffer with that also. I have when I don't have make y'all y'all will see in my uh, video I just did with with the good molecules. Um, I don't I just have eye makeup and lipstick on. I don't have anything on my face. Um, my face is always red, and I, when I exercise, oh my god, I look like a devil. I mean, I get beat red. I always have, but my skin. Um, I don't know if it's rosacea or if it's just some red. I don't know what it is, really. I call it rosacea, but I really don't know what I have. Um, I've never asked a dermatologist exactly what that is, but um, it has stuff to calm down that. Um, it treats enlarged pores, and the bottles are like $8. The toner, I use their toner, too. The toner has, um, I think, niacinamide has, is actually vitamin B3. And I think the toner even has that in it. And I've kind of been trying to do the, the um, Korean beauty type thing. You're supposed to do the toner seven times. I don't know if that works, but uh, to try to get your skin to start... Um, like the dead skin off and your skin cells start working and regenerating because when you get to like 25, 30, it drops off. You're not making new, new cells like you used to. You don't have as much collagen being produced in your skin. Um, your elasticity, your face gets not as tight in the sun, the sun just, and I, I've been burnt. I'm, I'm peeling right now from the football game. Um, yeah. 
But I mean, I used to get so burnt, so burnt. Um, I'd get blisters on my face, on my chest right here. I'd get blisters. Um, but it was trying to get dark, you know, that was the thing laying out in the sun. But now I realize how much damage it, it's done to my face. So young girls, I know, you know, everybody looks pretty tan. Try to do self tanner or, you know, because the sun just really bad. And it's not just when it's sunny. It's when uh, it's the ultraviolet rays that really are bad for you. Um but anyways, after I use my serums, I use two different oils. They just sent me a, a rose hip oil that, I don't know, they just sent that one. That was the second time they sent it. So I said, I need to really get on and show everybody my, how I use this stuff. Now, I need to reorder the peptide serum. But the toner's like 14. The serum's around under 10. Everything's under 10 except the toner. Now, I'm not sure about their moisturizing lotion because I've been using this fancy stuff from BoxyCharm. Um, I don't know what I'll use when it goes out. Uh, I have used Tatcha before. I've bought this before. This is a sample of the good Tatcha. But, um, you know, when you don't have money to buy those things, it's a good alternative to be able to go to something like good molecules. I would like to try out their under eye. They have a, a eye serum and I'd like to try that out too. But it's a it's a brand exclusively made for Beautylish. They made their own skincare brand. And what's good about Beautylish, I always have an order going. You can split your order into like three or four. I think it's three payments. And it's not like that where you have to pay it every two weeks is you, you pay every month, like for three months. But I just want to tell you guys about that, that I finally did my, my review on that. Um, yes. And I did, I'm in the process of doing some eye looks with this palette that I had to call them about. I got it in the mail and let me show y'all what happened. I was so disappointed. I said, well, I'm going to use it. I, they sent me a new one, but this last shade here called, I can't tell, um, My Angel. Now, where is the clear plastic? I probably stuck it in here. I'm going to have to find the plastic to put it back on there, but it's cracked. I'm going to try to show y'all this one right here. It's correct. It came in like that. So they're sending me another one, and I have to send this one back. I said, I'm not paying for the shipping. Sometimes they tell you just to keep them, but this time they said, we'll send you the shipping to send it back. So I have to send it back, but I am doing my video with it because I was going to have to wait. Oh. Uh, I don't know if they'll get mad about that, but. And what else I have going on? I've gotten so many things in. I finally got all three of my Ipsy bags in. I need to do that review. I got my plate. Oh, I was so excited for my play Sephora this month. It's, um, did y'all see the play Sephora? It's just a sample box, but. This month, they had several foundation samples. I was so excited about that. I tried this one already. The uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I don't know if y'all have ever tried that. I really liked how it looked on my skin. Now, I didn't do like a full review to see how many hours it lasts and see what it looked like. I just uh, wore it yesterday have uh, several they have um makeup forever the matte velvet skin the 24 hour sample now i've gotten this before and that works good too and they also have cover fx the high performance setting spray 
I thought that's a you never get that kind of stuff in Ipsy. Now I know Sephora is a, a store, so but I kind of always compare them to each other. Wait, I had a uh I don't know what I did with it. I have a um like a beauty blender. Here it is. What am I losing my mind? Here it's bounce. The Beauty Blender Foundation. It's a sample of that. I don't know how much is in there, but it seems like a good bit, enough to try it. And they did match it to your quiz, so it should all uh, match to my skin. And they also sent a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer I used under it. And... The extra thing was they usually always give you either a fragrance sample or something else. This is by Moroccan. Uh, Moroccan body. It's the Moroccan oil is the night body serum. That's the front of it. And the inside, this is the little... It looks like a perfume sample, but it's a larger sample. My daughter used to use this shampoo. That is expensive shampoo. <laughs> That's when I used to work. I mean, she loved this shampoo and conditioner. You remember how expensive it was, Quentin? Yeah. <laughs> now she's using the subscription shampoo. Uh, I don't know the name of it, but you tell them about your hair. And you can also pick the color of your shampoo. Um, I'm not sure the color, maybe the packaging. And she's been using that and really liking it in her hair. Now, her hair used to be really long and beautiful. Now she's got it cut short. But, yeah, and instead of giving 50 points... They're giving, you know how the uh, Sephora play usually gives you 50 points. Well, they're giving you 20% off a bottle of foundation. I think that's a good change too. But I usually do the Sephora versus the Ipsy glam bag, but there's no comparison. In my Ipsy glam bag... Let's see what I got in there. Not much. <laughs> I think my, my add-ons were better than what I got. Now I got another E25 Sigma brush. What did y'all think about that? Did y'all like that E25 brush? When you compare the softness of the Sigma brushes compared to e.l.f., I have a little e.l.f. brush that I use just to spread my uh, concealer on my eyes. And that thing is so, uh, like, it's it pokes you. This is just so soft. Just a good brand. Let's see what I have in here. I mean, it's just, Ipsy just has a lot of indie brands, I guess. I don't, it's just not as good as Sephora. Like, I don't even know who this is. It's Byron Bay Lenny. I think, I don't know what it is. It must be a maybe a shadow. I don't know what it is. It's oh yeah, it's a glitter. It's glitter. I didn't even open this yet. I'm probably gonna give it away. I probably shouldn't open it. But I want to see what it is. It's it's closed, but I think it's a glitter shadow, is what it is. This is Private Doctor, never heard of them. Minus Serum, Define Minus Serum. 
I did get a, a brush in it. This is one of the Betty Boop brushes. It doesn't look bad, though. It looks fluffy. It's not a bad brush. Belief. This is a Aqua Bomb. That's not a bad brand. And this is looks like a shadow or some sort. I'm not really sure what it is either. Yeah. Space Case Cosmetics. It's just... It, this is probably something I would use. It's just an off-white shade. I think I would get use out of that. Because I use this... I don't ever... Even if I use like the MAC Painter... I have, I don't have, uh, I have soft okra, ochre, ochre, in the MAC paint pot. Even if I use this, I always put a shadow over it because my eyes are too old to be tugged on. And I find um, if you don't put something over your primer, yeah, your color is going to pop, but you have to lay it down and not tug on your eyes, and I'm not going to um, do my eyeshadows like that that often, unless I'm trying to do something real colorful, so I always put like an off-white shadow on top of my uh, primer, but this looks like something I would use a lot of. Now that Carly Bible palette is very powdery. The mattes are very powdery. But a lot of, uh, I still like Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I find a lot of her mattes tend to be, and especially the lighter mattes tend to be, have a lot of kick up or kick back, whatever. Um, and I think it just makes my allergies go crazy. But that's one of Betty Boop's little things. And I, I, I know Sephora, to me, always beats them with their samples. But I did get this from Sephora. Did I show you all this? This is uh, Sephora's, um, like their Lux Play Sephora. You got a little bag with it. This costs $25. Now, is it worth $25? I don't know about that, but um, some of the products in here are neat. Like this SK2, this is like an essence. I use the, uh, I think I brought it to the back. I use the um, Tatcha essence. I've been having it six months. I mean, it lasts long. This stuff is even more than the touch. It. This stuff, this is probably like $40 worth of essence with SK2. They're very expensive. Um, I got a sample of a Tom Ford perfume called Black Orchid. And I did order this one on Scentbird. Because it's such a high-end scent, I had to pay $5 extra for it. So, and this one, it's a roller. It's not a spray. It's a, a little roller scent, which is not bad. I already tried that, and it smells so good. I got from Amore Pacific. I've tried, I've gotten a sample of Amore Pacific. I don't know if y'all understand what I'm saying. This is the name. Let's see. I'm going to put it upside down. It's sideways, so this is a more Pacific. I've gotten their uh, moisturizing cream in a sample one time. Oh, my God. I fell in love with it until I saw the price. It's like Tatcha price. But this is actually an enzyme peeling mask. And it's in a little tube. I haven't tried that. They have a uh, hourglass uh, mineral veil. This is the mineral primer. My daughter used to use this. Very expensive. It makes your um, 
face feel very smooth. If you've ever used the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, it feels it makes your face feel similar to that. This one has, let's see, this is a V Saint Laurent mascara. V Saint Laurent. And it looks like this. It's called the Effect Fogils. That's in French. Mascara Volume. But it's just a little tube. Enough to try it. And the last thing. Nope, that's not the last thing. Yep, that's the last thing. Is from... Tata Harper. Tata Harper. I've never heard of them. A resurfacing mask. And looks like this. Now, I've never... When I went to buy this, they had one left. There was three options. I think I got kind of the mask type option. The others probably were better, I'm thinking, because the others were gone before this one. But I got it. I'll put some of those in giveaways, the ones I'm not using. And um, this went in that other bag. And the little bag's cute, too. Now, is uh, Kate Cros Katie's... Crochet, Patty's crochet here yet. Did you see her, Quentin? No. I wanted to talk to everybody about the traveling bag, traveling box, the bendy box. What they were they were talking, Quentin? Huh? They were talking. Uh, uh, they had any questions? Debbie White, y'all, I'm really upset at Boxy Charm because I got the Tardis Pro Glow Palette and No Dose of Color Palette. The TARDIS one, we got a couple boxes in. Very upset. What should I do? You call BoxyCharm. Debbie, I would, you you call, uh, you need to email BoxyCharm. They'll make it right, especially if you got that already. Um, I would, you got to email BoxyCharm so they can send you something different or do something about that. I don't know why they would send you that if you've already gotten it, though. Reported someone making a stupid comment and laughing when it's not funny for those that don't know she's blonde. Who made a stupid comment? Huh, Quentin? I don't know. I didn't see it. I looked. I didn't see it. Alma, who made a bad comment? Yeah, a lot of people that are watching aren't chatting. They're just watching to be nosy, Barbara. They're, they're not going to like. Okay, I wanted to talk to y'all about the traveling box. I don't see Patty here, but um, I didn't know what type of box to, I have this box, but then this is just a, a, a old uh, Calvin Klein 
box that I got some um, perfume in. So I, I I just don't know what to put in it. I put a lot of sample stuff in it because I feel like if you can't, you know, I'm. I think people are going to want to exchange things that are not that expensive. So I just, and how are we going to know, keep track of, are we going to keep track like a list of everything I put in here? And then when the next person goes, are they going to have to like mark out what they took and then add to the bottom what they, they added to it? How are we going to do that? Um, and also it's, it's going to take long. It's not, not that many people are going to, it, if it, if you get it, you're going to want to look through the box a few days before you ship it out. I'm thinking like two people a month are going to even get to do this. You know, not that many people are going to get to do it, but I guess it'll still be fun. But I, I put a bunch of things in it. I want to put more after I do my um, Ipsy stuff, my Ipsy video. I'm going to add some more. Um, what was I, what questions I wanted to ask some Quentin? I forgot now. It's like my train of thought's not there. But should I show y'all what I have in the box or... Stacy, uh, okay, we, we were talking about doing a traveling box, and it was going to be called the Bendy Babes Traveling Box, and it's just going to be like a box of beauty products. It could be anything. If you see some bath bombs or bath gel at CVS that you like, you can throw that in here, but when you get the box, you're going to Whatever you take out of it, you need to replace something of similar value. So I'll put this It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Mascara Sample. So what you would, if you take this sample, you would have to put another sample product in it. A sample is a sample, the way I feel. I had this sample. I also have a MAC Cosmetics uh, Fix Plus sample of this. Somebody might not know what this is and might want a sample. So all you would do, you could throw a perfume sample in there or anything you have. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I put in it and tell me if this is on track. I think we should show what's in it. Like if, if, if a channel gets the box say, I just got the box and this is my channel. I'm going to, you know, do a video. Hey, I got the traveling box. And um, maybe I can show everybody what's still in the box, what I'm taking out the box and what I'm putting in the box, something like that. But I put, I bought this, uh, the Violet Voss Fruit Sorbet palette. I put this one in. Um I had this primer that I got in my Tri Beauty box. One of these. I have an extra one that I got somewhere. I don't even know how I got it. I had this. It's an Anastasia Beverly Hills mirror that you would put in your purse. I didn't open it. I'm not sure exactly, but that's what it is. Um, some this this is uh from Korean Beauty. It's uh I'm beet and it's a mask made of beets. And then I have just a bunch of little sample things. Um, this is fresh. One of them's a sunscreen, just different things. All these little different samples. This was a, a serum from a Korean beauty box I never tried. This is a nail polish. 
This is a primer that I never got to do a review on from Revlon. Some brushes. I had this. Actually, I got this for free, but it's got to be worth something. It's a, a Too Faced must-have makeup set. It's got the Hangover Primer travel size with the, the little eyeliner. I have a big eyeliner like that. And then it's got one of the little fruit blush highlight palettes that smell real good. It's really cute. I almost kept that. That's what I got so far. Um, I do want to add some more stuff. Is that kind of what we're doing? Or should I add bigger products and not so many samples? What do y'all think? I could put a perfume in there. <laughs> no, I, I, if I were going to ask a question about to boxy charm about a specific item, not being in my box, I would email them directly because you want them to answer you and resolve the issue on Instagram. I don't know, you know, it's kind of general on there, but they're, they're going to get back with you. If you already got that product, they weren't supposed to send you that. They'll, re they'll give you something else. I would have, I would have contacted them right away. Okay. Tabitha thinks that's how we should do it. Lorena. Let's see, Rhonda, if able to make a video of what you take. Um, only if you have a channel. If you don't have a channel, um, you don't have to worry about making a video of it. It's just some of the ladies who had channels wanted to know if they could do a video on their channel. And I said, of course. And we could add, like, if, if a channel has some people that want to get on in the list, we'll add them to the list. Now, Patty's supposed to make the list of people, and she's going to randomly pick the order of the, the box. Now, she wants to add some to the box, so I'm going to send her the box first, and then she can. Now, she's going to have the order of who each person needs to send it to next. Wait, you got top chat or all chat, Quentin, live chat? Live. Okay, I had the other one. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna put a notebook in here, or some kind of journal, and whoever gets the box needs to put like I'll write in it first. Kendi from Louisiana um, started the box, and I'll have the list of items, and then when Patty gets it. She'll put Patty from wherever um, I picked out of the box. I added to the box these items, and I chose these items. So, you know, and we can keep it going like that. Good night, Alicia. Oh, okay. She's telling Candy. I thought you were calling me Candy. What am I thinking? Okay. Yeah, for right now, um, I need to write up some rules. And I'm going to put that in the rules. We want uh, not previously used. We want new items that haven't been used. So, um because I have several palettes I could have put in that have only been like swatched. But um, we're going to do just new palettes, just new items that are sealed, that are closed.
but yes, I need to do a set of rules also. No, Debbie. Um, what is the email for BoxyCharm? They change. I think it's. Is it info? No, it's. Um, what is the email for BoxyCharm? Does anybody know right off the bat? It used to be info. I think it's help. Maybe now. If not, I can look it up for. Her. GNS says, is there a recommended site to check for expired products as well? Uh, there is. a. I have a website, but half the products aren't on it unless it's a big company. Thank you, Nico. Um, it's an app. Just type in on your app store. Um, I can look. On my, let me check. Let's see. I don't ever do it, but uh, let's see what's the store. But it's more or less useless because they don't have all the independent, like all the companies Ipsy uses is not in there. But let's see. It should be right here. And of course, I can't find it. Let's see. Not here. One more page. It's called Cosmetics Checker. And you can select a brand or enter the batch code. I think you could even like check the um, check the scan like the uh, barcode. Enter batch code. Let's see. But it's called. Um, wait, no, that's not the name. How to find batch code. No, that's not what I want. Tap a brand, tap to select, or enter a batch code. I think it's called Cosmetics Checker. But anyways... I don't, I don't think you're going to find that many brands that are batches that are past dates out of date because they usually make it good if something's like that one time Boxy found something that was, I think several boxes had found something. Um, they always make it good. Hey, Karen. Karen. 